Hi guys, it's Idia Aisien here, I-D-I-A.A-I-S-I-E-N on Instagram or Dr. Idia on Twitter, and you're welcome to another episode of The Diary of a TV Girl. Now today we're going to be talking about a topic that I think might be something that a lot of people don't really want to touch on, but for me it's something that I just really want to get your comments um, or your thoughts on because it's it's becoming really rampant, so I want to talk to you today about begging on the internet. Now, um, almost every single page that you go to on, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you will see people asking for all kinds of things. So, you know, money for foodstuffs, money for data, money, like credit alerts, um, (laughs) um, tuition, rent, all kinds of things. People are asking for everything and anything these days. And that's fine you know everybody has their hustle their little side side thing that they do but I just want to know what you guys think now should there is there a line that people are crossing and should there be a particular way that you beg for the things that you want so that people help you and also so that people don't feel like you know you're crossing a line of um, from begging or from asking for what you want to practically harassing the person now a lot of us have like emails on our pages now on business pages on instagram and of course you expect people to use those email emails to contact you about the services that you render or you know we we put our emails on instagram because we want to we want to we have problems too we're trying to make money um and you'll find people using the emails to contact you about any and every problem that they have now, again, like I've said, I've ha- I have no issue with this as long as the approach is right and as long as it is done with decorum. So anything that is done with sense gets a pass from me. So I think that when you send somebody a message online, you know, you have to, you have to be concise, number one, because nobody has time to hear about anybody else's problems. Like, everybody has their own issues. But, okay, you, you're, you have to be concise and you have to be considerate. So those are the two C's of asking online being concise and being considerate. Um, The first thing I would say is, hello, good afternoon, my name is blah, blah, blah. Um, Sorry to trouble you today, but I would really, really uh, um, like to ask if you could please listen to my song. The person doesn't listen to your song, no biggie, ask somebody else, you know? But I think when we go overboard and we're just like, you must listen, you must listen, you must listen, I think it becomes ridiculous. Because honestly, once you've even, even if it's texting, right? Once you've asked somebody for something, if they don't respond and you keep asking, that now borders on harassment or stalking. So it doesn't, it's it's not cool anymore. And the person is most likely not really going to help you. They're going to avoid you. And then another thing I think should be taken into consideration is just like etiquette. Like, so uh, sensitive family issues. Like if you're asking... I don't know if you're asking for money for your children or things like that. Those are sensitive issues. I know that a lot of people say that many of those pages are fake. So what do you guys think? Because I've helped a few, but then it's gotten so much to the point that you can't post a picture without somebody advertising something that they need. And it gets really stressful. I've seen a few people complain online. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or not. It doesn't matter if you are rich or not. People will ask you. People will see you naked and ask you for a shirt. It's crazy. It's the don't ask me. I don't know why, but that's what I'm noticing now. And then, you know, I got the weirdest thing that happened to me recently. So I um I don't really have time to check all my DMs, but of course if I see avid followers and I see messages from them, of course I'm gonna read what they have to say. Also, we're looking out for jobs. So immediately I hear, oh Idi, I wanna partner with you on this, blah blah blah. I'm reading those messages. But there was a girl recently that was commenting on all my pictures and she just kept saying, um, Ma, please check your DM, Ma, please check your DM, Ma, please check your DM. And I was like, oh, okay, what's going on? Why does this person need to, me to check my DM? I kid you not that I had, I checked my email, my DM, my direct messages on Instagram and I saw nothing less than 80 DMs from this person. Nothing less. So it starts here. Just in just like I mean like I don't want to say who do you think you are but I want to say whoa you know 
This one here just says, "My please check your DM. My 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 please check your DM. And then there's some that just say, "Please reply me or check your DM. My please, what's going on? My please, you know you don't owe me. If I don't owe you, then why are you messaging me so much? Um, hello, my please, what do you think of all my DMs? Hello, my please, when will you get this? Hello, my begging name of God, please. You know they use the name of God. They ah, uh, it's stressful. Um, my please, what else do I need to do? My please, what else do I need to do? My please." It's still me. My please, I need your help, ma. My please, check your DM. My please, help me. I'm not trying to be a disturbance. Um, <laughs> my please, just say the word, and I will send my pictures. I don't need your pictures. Like when you're asking somebody for the the per person who's asking me for six million naira, and they're basically saying that oh they would pay the money back in six months. Now if you can pay somebody six million back in six months, just put your head down and I don't know, like do the work. Do you know what I mean? Because the person was saying they wanted the money that they were going to open a YouTube page and make enough money to pay me back within six months. But from what I know, that's not how YouTube works. And that's not how, you know, once you open a YouTube page, the page is going to have to be pretty interesting, you know? So it was just like a lot. And I'm like, what's going on? And I don't, I don't know what you guys think. And I don't want to ramble or go on and on. But my question is, is it okay to beg on the internet? And if, if it is like, where do we draw the line, right? How should it be done? You know, like I said, me, concise and considerate. Because this person that you're messaging, you don't know what people are going through. Forget what they're posting on social media. You do not know what another person is going through. So, it, it, you know, it just it doesn't make sense sometimes. And there are people that I have helped and there are reasons I've helped them. So for me, if you want me to help you find a job, for instance, if that's what you're looking for, I'm expecting to see a professional email where you're like, hi, Idea, my name is this. I've worked here. Please see my CV attached. If you know anybody that is hiring in blah, blah, blah field, I would really appreciate a referral. Something like that. And of course, I'm going to want to help you. But if you're just like, uh, ma, please, I really need a job. Ma, ma. Nobody hires based on sentiment. Or nobody smart hires based on sentiment. It's going to be hard to manage that person. So I think... We should really be conscious of how we ask if you want your request to be granted. Well, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think by commenting below. And um, also subscribe to my page because I really want you guys to follow all the exciting stuff I'm going to be talking about. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And until the next time, I will see you next week on The Diary of a TV Girl. Mwah.